Next time you're on a regular plane, notice that flights going east or west are not constantly turning slightly to one side, as you seem to believe they all must be. So this is Professor Dave Explains. He's a big YouTuber, does all sorts of science explanation stuff, and he has delved into flat Earth. And um, but I just noticed he made a mistake. He made, and it's it's illustrative because he's done what lots of people do that um, they make a claim that sounds sensible from a common sense point of view without doing the maths. And uh, turns out when you're talking about flat Earth versus globe Earth, it's important to do the maths because Earth is big. Yeah, you would notice that. Well, yeah, you would have to bank, but how big a bank? So would we notice that, Professor Dave? No maths done. Mmm. I think you might have done fucked up. Let's see, shall we? I decided I was going to do some maths to find out the answer to this. Now, as it turns out, yeah, I didn't have to actually do any maths. Um, there's a website that calculates the rate of turn and the radius of turn and the bank angle for uh, different uh, speeds of flight. So it turns out that the, um, the rate of turn and the radius of that turn uh, in an aircraft will depend on how fast the plane is flying. And this website gives you a way to approximate that and it tells you the bank angle. So what I did, I ran it for a 747, which has a cruising speed of 504 knots nautical miles and plug that in to this calculator here and uh, then did various bank angles and um, I believe if you've got a bank angle of 0 0.06 degrees, so a very minute bank angle, that's the bank angle you need in this calculator to, uh, to circle out a, uh, a circle that has the same radius or a same circumference uh, that the Earth has. So. Um, if we're assuming that the flat Earth equator and the globe Earth equator has the same circumference, then uh, to fly around this flat Earth equator, you would only need a bank angle of 0.06 degrees. So right there, that idea that oh, if it was a flat Earth, you would notice because you'd, you'd have an obvious bank angle as you're flying east to west, proves to be bullshit. So um, that is not an argument that the Flat Earth doesn't exist. There's plenty of other arguments that the Flat Earth doesn't exist, but this one is not it. Now, when mentioning this issue in the Facebook groups, I got people trying to divert and saying, oh, it depends on how, you know, how tight a circle you fly and stuff. So maybe we could detect the bank angle if they're flying a really tight circle. So the question then becomes, uh, you know, what is a uh, detectable bank angle and what sort of uh, radius circle would you need to fly to, uh, to get that bank angle? So let's, uh, let's choose, say, some, you know, let's err on on be, be generous and say, okay, we can detect a bank angle of 0.5 degrees. I don't really believe you could detect a bank angle of 0.5 degrees when you're sitting in an aeroplane, but let's say that was the sort of the, the minimal bank angle that you could detect. How, f what the, what is the radius of uh, the turn on a 747 with a bank angle of 0.5 degrees? And it turns out that that would fly a circle with a radius of 424 nautical miles miles. Now if you use the, um, the rule of thumb that uh, one, sorry, 60 nautical miles is one degree, then uh, 424 nautical miles is um, 424, yeah, is about seven degrees of latitude. So um, if you wanted to fly a, a, uh, a circle uh, around the North Pole where the bank angle was half a degree, you would have to be within seven degrees of the uh, the North Pole. So a pretty tight circle around the North Pole. That is a 0.5 degree bank angle. That's a 30 centimeter ruler with about three millimeters uh, at that, that, that end there on the left. So that is a 0.5 degree bank angle. Oh, I don't think you're going to have much chance of detecting that while sitting in the plane. But um, yeah, at that angle, 
you will fly a 424 nautical mile radius circle, which is about seven degrees away from the North Pole. So, I mean, this really is an example of globers, globe earthers, uh, not taking account of how big the Earth is when they say, oh, you, you, would no you would notice the bank angle when you're flying east and west. No, you wouldn't because the Earth's big. Gotta remember, the Earth's big. Flat Earthers have got to remember it, and Globe Earthers have got to remember it. So this meme should be retired. It is a lesson to us because uh, if you, when, I, when I complained about this meme in this Facebook group, various Globe Earthers wanted to you know, take me to task and deliberately try and sh shift the goalpost and talk about something else because they had a hard time admitting that their uh, confirmation bias had made them repeat this argument without checking the math. I did it in the past as well. I've repeated this argument and I didn't check the maths up until recently. So um, that's a lesson. Uh, do the maths. So when a flat earther says, oh, the horizon should be curved or the horizon should dip and we go, but have you done the calculations to see how much it should curve by and how much it should dip by? You know, keep in mind that uh, you need to do the same sort of calculations on claims you make. Um, so let's be consistent, let's not be like the flat earth morons. And um, that goes for you too, Professor Dave. So Professor Dave, you done fucked up. Explain. <laughs> did you see what I did there? <laughs> Explain. <laughs>